Holy shit, this is fucking amazing. Oh my god. They make games like this? Shit. That one almost got me. Yeah. This is so amazing. It's like it's coming at me. Dodge, dodge, yeah. Piece of shit. Yeah. Whew. That was tough. Alright guys, hey what's up? Got another review here today. Hell, I don't know why I'm starting off with the British accent, but I am. Alright, but seriously, I nabbed this little piece of tech on Black Friday for a cool $99. Now, I've looked at some reviews and stuff online, and there's been a lot of complaints about it, how it uh, breaks down after just a couple weeks or so. So that's got me a little skeptical about it, but I want to open it up and see for myself what it will hold and what will it bring. Now, this was $500 when it first came out, $99 now, and it comes with MotorStorm Apocalypse, a 3D, uh, the 3D glasses, and an HDMI cable. I mean, that alone almost totals up to like $99 itself, but just getting the 3D display, it's a nice little uh, add-on. Ooh, Shadow of the Colossus is in 3D. That would be badass. Oh, ooh, that's exciting. Um, but back, back on track. So this is the PlayStation 3 Sony 3D display with SimulView technology where you can view split screen um, on the same TV with two players. So one of your friends could be playing with his whole entire screen and you can be playing with your entire screen as well. And now this screen is 24 inches diagonally across, so it's not huge, but it's not too, too small. It'd go nice in a, like a dorm room or a bedroom or just something. Nothing like a uh, living room space though, but 24 inches isn't too bad, and for $99 you just, it's hard to beat. And so let me grab something. got this earlier. Okay, so actually let's look at the uh, box first since I love, love, love looking at the box. And I'm sorry if there's a glare, but we'll just try to work with it. I'm going to try to stand in the way of it. And right here, Motors from Apocalypse, Sony 3D display with the time of view technology. Comes with the glasses, HDMI cord game, rated T for teens. And on the side, it just lists a couple more games. Uncharted 3, which would be badass. Ratchet and Clank, all for one. Um, Shadow of the Colossus and uh, Eco. And Gran Turismo 5, all compatible. I'm sure I have a couple more other ones. And let's take a gander at the back. Introducing some of you technology. One display, one game, two full screen views. Never play split screen two player mode again, specifically um, enhanced for gaming. Some of you, technology delivers two different full uh, HD screen images from a single display, putting players deeper into the action. Some of you, playbacks in 2D, not 3D. That's actually an important note. So it's in 2D, not 3D, but still pretty cool. Requires two pair of 3D glasses, blah, blah, blah. The second one sold separately. Turn any bedroom den office into a 3D uh, entertainment power suite with this best-in-class 3D display. This brilliant 24-inch ultra-slim LED screen delivers all of your HD media by connecting to your PS3 system, cable, TV, box, and PC. Well, built-in speakers and subwoofer complete the audio experience. So it has a subwoofer in it. Um, the only complaint that I've read online also is that it has no remote and then it breaks easily. So. I'll just try to get through that. Fingers crossed that this one doesn't break. Um, of course, 1080p, 3D, um, 24 um, hertz refresh rate for higher quality 3D. Now the buttons are on the back, and it's got the speakers on the front. Um, it's got two HDMI ports, and uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about it. At least on the back of the box now. Let's open this thing up. Yeah, like, 
when I got it at Black Friday, people were like, oh my god, this is $99, and it was, it was going pretty quickly, I mean, I didn't, I mean, at the time I got it, I didn't know about the problems with it, but I, I still say it's a, it's an impulse buy, and it's, it's definitely worth it, I think, just to give it a shot. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can just return it, right? Okay. God. I'm so, like, bad at opening boxes, yet I do unboxing videos. <laughs> That's, that is the tragedy of my life. Boxes are the bane of my existence. Okay. I don't want to drive this video too, too far out, so let's get right to it. Put it on its side. Oh, god damn it. Stupid. More tape. Fuck. Oh, look. This box holds an even bigger box that's far heavier. Motor storm apocalypse right there. I'm not a huge racing fan, but I do like the Motor Storm series. I never played the second. I I mean I played a couple of them at my friend's house, but this is the first one I've actually owned. So then HDMI cord, which is pretty nifty. Those are actually pretty expensive, especially those Sony and other brands that are super expensive. Like Monster, I guess, or whatever the cable's called. But it's got a per then of course it's got some of these instruction warning labels, quick start stuff. Interesting. Again, I don't read Japanese, so that one won't help me. Okay. Let's see. Um more instructions using the 3D display, blah blah blah. Oh look, it's a remote controller. Oh wait, no it's not, it's the glasses. Because it doesn't come with the remote, that's why it's funny. Oh, it actually comes in this nice little, uh, nice little sleeve. I guess that's a cord for something. I've, this is my first 3D TV. I've never actually owned a 3D television set. None of my friends have even had one. Wow, this is pretty high tech, actually. Damn. Let me put it on. I am going to eat you. My name is Robotron. Uh, they're pretty comfy. They fit my head okay. Uh, probably wouldn't want to wear them for like 20 hours straight, but I could play it for a quick two or three hours max, probably, and then I'd get a headache anyway from playing 3D. Okay. Now, what the hell is this? Oh. This has the power cord on it. I'm going to take these off, because then I look silly if I do it with them on. Power cord. With more cardboard. This cardboard seems extra heavy. Like, why is it so heavy? Whatever. Ooh, what is this? This is heavy. I guess this is a stand. No idea what this is. What the hell is this? Can't even get it out. So this is the stand. Reminds me of a PSP Go shape, that kind of like rectangular with like a curved off edge. 
very PSP Go esque. Um, just like the screen itself looks like that. What is this? I guess this is where you mount something. What the hell is this? Ah. I guess, oh, okay. I guess you kind of like stick it down on the base and you latch it onto the TV. I mean, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Whatever, we got that out. More cardboard. Too much cardboard. Okay, here's the TV. Ooh it's, ooh, it's thin. Fuck. It's pretty light. But that's what it looks like. Um, I don't want to break it. And there's more protective cardboard. Nothing else really in here. So we shall throw this away over here for now. Let us take the look see at the TV. I'm going to try to do this without breaking it. A noble attempt. You better not break on me, you bastard. Especially when I plug you in. Alright, that is what she looks like. She's pretty, pretty big actually, you know. It'd be, uh, I plan to use this as a computer or monitor too, so that's. It looks, it's a nice size for a computer or monitor though, so that's a plus. Um, it looks, the design is very sleek and again PSP Go like. Um, it certainly looks cool, it's very reflective. I've also read problems about it being too reflective, but that's never bothered me too, too much. And let's take a look at the back side. The back, of course, it's got like your HDMI stuff, power, volume, menus, Sony's PlayStation logo, which is on the front as well. Um, it's a nifty little package. I'm definitely attracted to it. It's got a good design. That's what the back looks like if you're interested. Nothing too spectacular, but pretty cool again. Alright, now I'm going to set her up and we're going to try to turn her on. Alright guys, we have the 3D TV set up. Alright guys, we got the, uh, the 3D view... Th Alright guys, we have the 3D display TV set up. Um, and I just got finished playing with the little, uh... Shadows of the Colossus. Uh, couldn't resist <laughs> testing it out. 3D works great. Um, in, in fact, it makes it just enhances everything about Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, it kind of is a dull and washed out uh, color palette, but um, the 3D really helps it uh, pop a little bit more, and it just adds a little bit more to it and. It's uh, the 3D so far, just from that game is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna try to play the Sly Collection, go through that, then of course Motor Storm and uh, Uncharted 3, and see what those all look like in 3D. Also, I'm really impressed with the sound so far. It has really great sound quality. Um, can't really complain about that. It just, I guess the sub the subwoofers didn't really help. And it's just phenomenal. I'm actually like, kind of like 
stunned at like how well this is like just to, like how bright the TV is um, it makes everything look really sharp and, and pristine it's just a good looking TV and I'm, a, I'm even impressed with the design of it um, I mean I wish you guys could see the 3D in person since you uh, to, to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about but unfortunately you can't but that's just how it is. Um, I'll play a Bioshock trailer just for the hell of it. Really looking forward to the Bioshock Infinite, by the way. It's going to be an amazing game. And he's got the volume and everything on the side. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. Details elude me now. You can tell the color is nice and sharp. But the details um, wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Sounds pretty good. Alright, so there's just a little uh, video and sound for you just to see how it you know holds up pretty well, actually. I would definitely recommend this TV to anybody that's interested. Um, I, I was a little scared when it first came on because the, uh, the green light down here, um, I turned it on and it turned blue, and then it went to red, and it kind of freaked me out, but I guess that was only because there was no, um, uh, there was no input signal from the, my PS3 because I, I didn't hook it up uh, quite yet at that point. Um, but other than that, I'm really, really impressed with this. For $99, the HDMI cord, the the glasses even, um, just everything. It's just really impressive and a, a great, great, great deal. If if the TV holds out, we'll see. Um, I'll update any new information if anything turns up or anything changes. But as of right now... Um, I'm really impressed with it, really happy. $99, you, you can't beat that. I mean, you, you, you just can't. I'd even, I, I would even pick this up for like 200 maybe 250 I can't believe it was like $500 when it first came out. That's definitely a little bit pricey for this size TV. Um, but if you could find it really cheap or anything like that, I'd, I'd pick it up. But just be a little weary about the issues. For $99, bucks, it's it's hard to beat. 24 inches alone a normal TV would probably be I don't know about a hundred and fifty dollars or so um, so for ninety nine dollars this is great I'm really fortunate that I got it hopefully it will um, go the long run and there won't be any problems with it I'm really happy with it so far um, just hoping nothing happens to it The 3D glasses are really cool. The just the 3D effect is really awesome. I know it hasn't really like reached widespread appeal, but it's definitely a interesting piece of technology, and it's probably going to take another generation for it to be fully integrated. Um, even the Wii U doesn't really do 3D anything. Um, but we'll see about the next Xbox and the next um, uh, PS uh, PlayStation system. Of course, the uh, the 3DS uses a uh, 3D technology, but this is stereoscopic. It's a little bit different. Um, I actually enjoy this one more than the 3DS. I assume most people would. Um, the 3DS, the 3DS's um, 3D capabilities are nice, but this is just a uh, another level. Of a uh, of 3D and it it just it, it really uh, comes through in a different way that's really enjoyable. Um, so uh, this TV it's pretty awesome. It's it's really it's only about an inch or so thick too. It's really lightweight and portable if you're looking for that. Um, it's a great piece of technology. Let's just hope it holds out. But as of right now, I'm really really pleased with it. So that's it guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time.
Oh my God.